So let's take a look at some pattern matching improvements in C Sharp 9. Take, for example, this utility method here called isLetter. And if you run it, isLetter 3 is false and isLetter B is true. But we're checking to see if it's in the range of between small a, small z, or big A and big Z. That's uh, pretty unwieldy, and I've written the word letter four times. What you can now do in C sharp 9 is take this. And this can be uh, rewritten like so. Turn letter is greater than or equal to A and greater than, whoop, greater than uh, smaller or equal to Z or or equal to capital A and smaller or equal to capital Z. Like so. We can delete that. And if we run this again, we get exactly the same behavior. Which is pretty cool. Also, there's a new trick you can do for null checks. So traditionally, uh, if you wanted to make sure something wasn't null, you'd have to do is not null there. Which would be true. However, in C sharp 9, you can change this to is not, which is a bit easier to understand. There you go. Gives you the same result. So to recap, Whilst traditionally you've been able to do these chained conditions, now with C-sharp 9 you can use this much nicer syntax, which is almost human readable, which is pretty cool. Also for null checks you can also use the same thing, so now you can type is not null rather than the traditional way of doing it.